Good morning, it is Monday the 31st of August and it is a new weekly reading vlog. I'm hoping this week will go better than last week did because it was a really bad week. Um, I don't really have many reading updates for you. I found out I found out that the um, audiobook for The Witch's Tears is on Scribd and I had well, I had to clean the kitchen and bathroom this morning so I listened to some of that while I was cleaning. Um, I'm now 138 pages, which is almost halfway. I'm hoping to get a bit more of that read today. Um, I'm hoping to finish it today so that I can at least say I've finished all my current reads before I go into the new month. But we'll see how that goes. I woke up really late and by really late, I woke up at 10 o'clock. And I didn't even go to bed late. I was asleep before midnight. So confused. But it's left me a bit like, hmm. Because it's now gone 10 o'clock. And I'm like, what have I done with my day? Other than do a little bit of cleaning. But yeah, so it's bank holiday Monday. So just chilling. Me and my mum watched... Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man last night. So today it is Captain America Civil War and maybe, what's the next one after Civil War? Doctor Strange. So maybe Doctor Strange as well, but definitely Civil War. So yeah, that's that's it. And then Doppler-thon, A Touch of Whimsy, Adventures Through Wonderland and Tolkien Along all start tomorrow. So I don't know what book I'm going to start with. that was my update. I'm really going to try and be better this week. Um, Liv's coming to stay for the weekend this, this week. So she's coming on Friday and stay until Sunday and I'm really excited because obviously um, you are allowed to have someone from another household stay as long as you still maintain social distancing and we are lucky enough that we do have a spare room which has like bunk beds in from when my nephews used to regularly stay before before covid um so yeah she'll be staying in there instead of staying in my room with me like she usually does and obviously i won't be able to hug her but i'm just going to be really glad to have some sort of normality where i can see one of my best friends and actually spend a weekend because i've not seen her since the first of march when we went to a convention together so we're going to get to exchange our birthday presents as well because obviously my birthday was march hers was may <laughs> And I'm just really excited, so yeah. So it is a lot later. I did watch, um, I did watch Captain America: Civil War and Doctor Strange. It is now just gone ten, and I have finished The Witch's Tears. This was a really interesting sequel, and I am really excited for how Book Three is going to go. Um, yeah, I'm mm, like there was one thing that was kind of predictable, but I thought maybe it would have been too obvious. But in the same time, not it was very confusing. I didn't know how to think of it. But yeah, this was really good. Four stars. And I can't wait to complete the series by reading the last book, which I don't know when that'll be because I didn't manage to fit it on my TBR. But because I listened to the audiobook, I have made progress on the puzzle that I've been doing. Now, I started this, I think it was last weekend, but then I haven't touched it. And I've made some pretty good progress today, which I'm just, I'm going to show you. Pretty good progress. So, yeah. Um... There's no way I'm going to complete the last book on my UK YA readathon DBR, which is Knife Edge. You know, it's like an hour and a half left of August. I'm good, but I'm not that good. Um, so unfortunately, I'm, in, I'm admitting defeat on that one, which is a shame because I really wanted to get to Knife Edge. But, oh well. And I did technically DNF one of the other books on, which was Then the Stars Were Burning Brightly, but... We won't talk about that. But I did the rest. I completed the rest. Um, 
so for me to not finish one book off of my TBR is pretty good. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to start with tomorrow. Oh, decisions. Although I have just remembered I need to post-it note the pages that um, I'm going to read for my buddy reader of an Ember in the Ashes because I think we might be starting that tomorrow actually. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that and then probably head to bed. Might try and do some more of this puzzle, maybe. But yeah, so we're getting two updates in a day. We're already going better this this week. <laughs> Let's see if it uh, keeps up. It is almost 1am and I have finished. Ooh. I uh, should get some sleep now, shouldn't I? Hello, it is Tuesday, the 1st of September. It is officially, officially, the start of Becca's Bookopolathon and A Touch of Whimsy, Adventures Through Wonderland and Tolkien Along. Why am I doing so many? Anyway, I, it's really late, it's like <laughs> almost nine o'clock, I didn't finish work that long ago to be honest, I'm supposed to finish at five, start at nine, finish at five, have an hour lunch break, started at nine, had no hour lunch break, no break at all actually, and finished about three minutes past seven so sick of this crap <sighs> um i've just got like a constant headache for the last two weeks because i've basically been on my own minus two days uh, two and a half weeks actually two and a half weeks and i'm just tired <laughs> but i managed to like take a bit of time away from the screen once i've logged off of work and I started an ember in the ashes so I am buddy reading this with Jazz and Kelly but this is also for a couple of them and doesn't this just go straight into the action from chapter one like this is how we want a series to start this is how a series hooks you I'm impressed with how this has started so I'm already intrigued by Leia and Elias. I'm really excited to see how it how it goes. Um, the masks are intriguing, like the way the masks meld to their face, like that's a little bit creepy, but intriguing. <laughs> but yeah, really enjoyed the first section of this. So we read the first 62 pages. So we are seven chapters in. And yeah, really, uh, really going to enjoy this. I'll be shocked if I don't. <laughs> um, that's my only reading update for today. I'm kind of holding off starting anything else because I should be getting one of my copies of Lost Book of the White. And I know I'm going to drop everything to read that, not including buddy reads. Although Jazz and Kelly would understand. So I'm kind of holding off on starting anything else just because I don't want to start another non-buddy read book just for Lost Book of the White to come because I know I'm going to drop everything for that. But at the same time I feel like I should get myself like a head start so I could like go for a middle grade. But at the same time I know I'm not going to have enough time because I know I'm going to have to work late tomorrow. Um probably Thursday as well so I don't know I don't know I don't know but we'll see but my fairy lit come today so I'm going to try and squeeze in filming my unboxing tomorrow is that it? <laughs> that, that's all I have for you today I am really out of it where I worked for so many hours with no break and it's hurting sitting up and I'm cold, which is why I've got my blanket around me. <laughs> um, 
so I'm just gonna like lay down, relax, or try to, until I fall asleep. Hopefully, it won't take me till two o'clock to get to sleep. I did only get four hours sleep last night, so. Yeah. Oh well, hopefully tomorrow will be better. Hello. The lighting is really bad even with my really tiny ring light. It is Wednesday the 2nd of September and as you can tell from the dark, it is the evening. Um, so work was just a whole mess but I did have a lunch break today, I forced myself to have a break today. However, this morning, this morning I filmed my favourite unboxing and also my August book haul and the remnants of my August book haul is scattered around all over my bed. So I've got to put that away before I can get into bed and relax with an ember in the ashes. I also got a box full of books today. Half of the box is not for me, it's a Christmas present for my sister which she does know about so I'm safe to say it. I'm basically completing her Morganville Vampires series for her because she doesn't have the last few books so I have got them for her and I'm putting them away for Christmas. Even though her birthday is sooner but I'm not going to talk about that. So yeah, I need to find space. The only ones I know I, I know where they're going to go are the classics because I'm making the top of this bookcase my classics now. However, so I have a dilemma and I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, my Harry Potter books, because I have multiple editions, they take up almost an entire bookshelf on that side of the room, so you never see it in my videos. But now I can't bring myself to get rid of these books because these books were my childhood and you know, I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. However, right now I am nowhere near okay with rereading them and I don't know if I will for a long time and I don't want them on show. But I don't want to get rid of them for sentimental reasons, but I don't want them to show if that makes any sense. So I am going to put them into storage. So I'm going to dig out an empty box and they're going to go in the box and they're going to stay there. When I eventually get my own place, I might put them back out on a bottom shelf or something. But for now, I don't have space to be showing off books that I don't want to be seeing all the time, especially when that is taking up almost the whole shelf that other books could go on so yeah I'm going to do that so I think I might do that now it is quarter to eight so it's a bit a bit later in the day what was that accent oh, I have no idea but yeah so that is what I'm gonna do I did get some non-bookish book mail today which I have to show you so I have been on the hunt for this for a reasonable price because everyone sells this for like £50 plus and someone on Facebook sales sold this for £10. It is the Akatar. I believe this was the pre-order pin for Akatar and yeah I'm just so happy I managed to get it for a reasonable price. Oh that works better. I put my lamp on although now my face is dead. Anyway. I'm really happy I managed to get this. So happy. And for such a good price, £10 for this is insane. So this is gonna now go on my Sarah J Mash shelf, which, <laughs> yes. I also need to make room <laughs> on my Cassie shelf slash Cassie and Holly shelf for my can't even remember how many copies of Lost Book of White I'm going to have. Three? Four? I can't remember. One of them's fake rate, so I might get it next year. Um, so yeah. Hmm. I do not know. Yeah, I need to try and find this. Do you know what's really annoying? I have a hardback of Curso Dark and Lonely, which is not going to fit on this shelf. And my Harrow the Ninth and Faithless Hawk are not going to fit wherever the first book are. <gasps> That could be my book order. Be right back. 
yes i don't usually open these on camera but oh yes love it when they open one in one go so this was an order i placed for myself so we have Potkin and Stubbs by Sophie Green, which is the first in a series, and this is the September middle grade monthly book. Hopefully, I will I will not miss the live show like I did last month with the jumbies. But yeah, so we got Potkin and Stubbs. And then we have the Train to Impossible Places by PG Bell. So this is actually the group pick for the A Touch of Whimsy Adventures Through Wonderland readathon. So I had to buy this because it's got to be read in September, so I'm going to add it to my September TBR cart, and we good. I mean, you'll see these again in my September haul when I post it next month, but that's a whole month away. <laughs> so yeah, two more middle grades. I think I'm going to try and fit some of these on my shelf. I'm thinking I might turn that shelf that has my Harry Potters on, I might turn that shelf into partly middle grade books i mean i have my game of thrones books on one side but they're like stacked so they don't take up a lot of space and i don't want to move them because i also have my uh, daenerys and drogon pop and a candle in front of them so i don't want to move those but i think i'll just add middle grade to it and hell i might just move some others on there as well yeah i think i might do that so yeah i'm gonna have fun I'm not doing a full organisation, I'm just going to rearrange some to make room for everything that's on my bed. did decide that to make room for the Wicked Deep, which wouldn't fit up there anymore, I removed one from one of my lower shelves, which is Under a Dancing Star. So I have like a pile of books, which all but one is from book boxes, and they're ones that I haven't got around to reading yet, and I'm not sure if I will like. Um, they were actually all on my chance cards for the Cocklathon and none of them come up and I was like, oh. um, so yeah, I am, I have them on there cause I'm like, I don't know if I'll like them. So I'm just going to leave them there, eventually get to them, but yeah, <laughs> dear Lord help me. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, right. I'm gonna go move my Harry Potter books and put some middle grade on that shelf. Some other middle grade, that is. So, it's done. That now has loads of middle grade on and some adult. But it's no longer got my Harry Potter books on. Oh, I had to put it into two boxes. I've also had a bit of a tidy up. really do anything else tonight because 
my mum's asleep and like I need my dad to get an empty box out of the loft which he can't do while my mum's asleep so I am gonna I'm gonna wrap this up now there's been no reading today it is 20 to 10 I'm thinking I might try and read a bit of Ember in the Ashes but I'm really tired of my eyes burning so I think I might call it a night I'm not sure yet but I will update you tomorrow on what I did decide to do good evening it is Thursday the 3rd of September and today has not been great I actually had to um like call in sick to work today because I think I've mentioned it a few times in the last couple of weeks but I've had this like constant headache and I know it's because I'm overworking myself I'm not having breaks in work I'm working more than I should be and it's just been stressful and it's finally got to me and I could when I woke up this morning I could feel like it was bordering a migraine and I was like there is no way I'm gonna get through this day if I work without it turning into a migraine because I've had this before so I called in sick and I just sort of lazed around and didn't really do anything which was strange and I actually have tomorrow booked off work as a holiday so I'm basically getting four days off work including the weekend um to hopefully shift this headache like the headache is still there it's no longer bordering a migraine but it is still there i've taken painkillers drunk loads of water like lost count how many times i filled this up but yeah um so i'm sort of trying to minimize screen time so this is like the only clip you're getting today but i got some really awesome book now today one of my copies of lost book of the white spread edge version this is also the one that has the first dust jacket because they changed the covers but this one matches the old cover so i am most likely going to swap the dust jacket around um i have already started this <laughs> i am like 60 pages in i am going to try and read some more of this i do find when i've got like a headache that's caused by too much screen time I find it fine reading a physical book. If I was to pick up an ebook, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I've been trying to read this. It, it arrived really late, so I haven't really had much time to read, but I'm really tired. I'm going to try and read a little bit more before I go to bed, but we'll see if that happens because I am so sleepy. I did end up reading yesterday's pages of an ember in the ashes last night so by the time i'd like got myself ready in bed i was like awake enough to read the next 60 pages so i'm now just over 100 pages in i think and i'm still really enjoying it um don't really know what else to say i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna leave it there and um, hopefully tomorrow i'll be feeling a bit better yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday the 3rd of September. No, it's not. It's Friday the 4th of September. I'm losing track of days. I haven't really done much today, but I have done my makeup and I like how it come out. I am in the middle of baking a Victoria sponge cake because I made this a few, I made this a few months back and sent the picture to Liv and Liv really liked the look of it so I told her oh when you can eventually come around again I will make it and she's gonna be here today so I'm making the cake she's actually gonna be here really soon and I'm gonna see if I can film the dogs seeing her because the dogs love her pretty sure she's coming here more for the dogs than me as well but that's fine because they're cute so yeah she's gonna be here pretty soon Oh. <laughs> Hello. Come and 
it, Belle? Oh, Who is it? Good evening. It is Saturday the 5th of September and it is actually the evening. I am getting ready for bed. So I was reading my standard edition of Lost Book of the White, but today I had 100 pages left and this one arrived. So I finished reading the last 100 pages in my Rune edition. It was a 5 out of 5 stars, unsurprisingly. I loved it. I loved how there was little snippets which link back to Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy and also the Bane Chronicles. So yeah, really enjoyed that. I did also catch up on the buddy read for An Ember in the Ashes, so I am now almost halfway through. We have read 170 pages. Really enjoying this and excited to see where it goes. And then I have started The Gravity of Us. I have only read the first 20 pages, so not a lot. Can't really talk about it, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. So yeah, um, haven't really done much. Yesterday we watched Hamilton in the evening because Liv has never seen it before. She loved it. And then today we have just spent the day reading, chatting and we watched the new live action Mulan this afternoon or this evening um, because Liv bought it on her Disney Plus. So we watched it on that. And now we're all going to bed because we're all tired. And Liv's going home tomorrow, which I'm sad about. It's been really lovely seeing her. We did our birthday present exchange. And yeah, it was really nice seeing her. So, so as it's Saturday, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. If you liked this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next week. Bye!